Hello everyone, Prince Kuda here, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we climbed up this mountain in what is one of, quite possibly one of the most frustrating segments in the game, and now we tackle the Divine Beast. Link just simply floated onto it, leaving... Well, he kind of left Yenobo behind. But now at this point, you are free to enter Va Hey, little guy! Long time no see. I always knew you'd come back. You know, I never stopped believing in you. You're here to take control of old Radania back from Ganon, eh? You're gonna need a map that shows the guts of this place. You can grab the info from the Guidance Stone over there. Now get a move on. You can now now you can until you well up until you complete it. You can now come and go from Valrudania as you please. Only there's a caveat. It's a little dark inside. Oh well, nothing a hero of legend couldn't take care of, right? I have so many of these arrows, and I have no regular arrows. Just be careful where you walk. That's all I'm gonna say. Ooh. Now, oddly enough, inside of the Divine Beast, you don't need to worry too much about temperatures and everything. You just gotta be able to walk around. Uh, I believe... Is this sword is this sword almost broken? Uh, I have it. Oh, I picked up that extra hammer. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna grab this torch, because we're gonna need it here. Although, why a torch has, a, has long throw is an option, I don't know. Anyway. Kind of blindly navigate yourself back and forth between... Or, back and forth between this place. But you're going to need this fire so you can see where you're going. And also you can light things up. I'm going to do that. There we go. Now we'll know exactly what that is, but just... Um, somewhere along this wall... Ooh, burn this chest, too. But yeah. If you want to put... If you want to put on your stuff that's... uh. Not just... If you want to put on your non-flame resistant stuff, feel free to. You're good to at this point. Very unconvinced. Very, very uh, nonchalant there, buddy. Anyway, I'm going to look around here for... Aha! Found you. And another one. Another one. Just get rid of all this goop. Oh, I cleaned up actually rather nice around here. Alright, let's get back to that torch. So yeah, this area is kind of... This area is also a little dumb, because it's just pitch black, but eh. There have been pitch black uh, points in Zelda games before, so this is not a, that uncommon. Plus a lot more understandable than other Zelda games. Let's see. Over here is a whole lot of nada. So I'm just going to burn this. Burn it. Thank you. Open this door. Uh, can't carry the royal bow, so let's go ahead and just activate the guy and stow in the back. This should finally turn on all the lights for us, thankfully. Well, that's a Divine Beast, all right. Can I have some lights camera action, please? Nice job getting the map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that control Rudania are noted by the glowing points on your map. To take back Rudania, you'll need to activate all of the terminals. You got this, little guy. Ah, finally lights. I can see what I'm doing. I missed one. I missed two. Alright. Well, grab this and let's go take care of some stuff. You. I don't care for you. Bullseye. Is that bad that I'm that good of a shot? When I'm normally like a terrible shot most of the time? 
Okay, I should I should clarify. Is it bad that I have learned the trajectory of this game that enough where I can make out those shots? Oh, thanks for the extra arrows. A moment too late. Which was I've got like four hundred arrows, don't I? Let's count that up. Sorry, this is just a curious thing to see. Three three twenty. Three sixty eight. Four forty. Yeah, I've got. I have. I am one arrow shy of 470 arrows. I don't think I'm running out anytime soon. Ooh, a club. Actually, that's the one I couldn't pick up, which is fine. So anyway, this divine beast is a pain. Wait, is that new? Why do I feel like that's new? Hello? Link, you gonna open it? I glitched out for half a second. Huh. Never mind. Make that 575. Anyway. So, um, but yeah, this Divine Beast, this Divine Beast, its whole thing is actually a bit of a, something that's a gimmick that will get people a little sight sick if you're not used to this kind of thing. Oh, I get my arrow back. Never mind. It just burned up. But anyway, it's got a little gimmick here that'll get some people a little sight sick, so I understand if you have to, like, look away at times. Uh, let's see, can I reach the thing? No, I can't. But, the whole thing with this is that it just turns... Oh, is that it turns 90 degrees. Where is the thing in here? I feel like I missed it. Oh, well, let's head back out. Maybe it's up above. This gets me a little... It gets me a little... Not really sick to my stomach, but it gets it gets me a little bit every time. Because the fact that we're now... Oh, it's stuck. That's why. Well, let's do a little bit of arrow shooting. One there. So I can burn off that bridge on that door. See, so yeah, it's weird that this thing is actually like climate controlled, so that it doesn't get itself hurt, but let's do that. And that should get us our other our other thing. Let's get this arrow really quick. Hold on. Run away! Don't hurt me. <laughs> but yeah. So, it's just a little... It's just a weird little thing. Or, it's just a weird little dungeon. That it's climate controlled inside of the beast. But you got... But you yourself have to deal with um, a rotating beast at all times. Now, pick this guy up. Then use the block while it's sideways to get in here. And that's how you get inside of this chamber. Go ahead and flip back over so you can get yourself at this. Oh god. Its movements are creepy. It looks, it's like running up the side of the wall the entire time we're doing this. There are four terminals remaining. That's the way. So yeah, it's not it's not a terribly difficult place. Thankfully this turns off once you turn once you get in there. But yeah, it's not a terribly difficult place, it's just tedious. Tedium, if you will. See, there's one in there that we'll have to get at a little bit later. Um, let's see. We can go in here now, I think. Which is just going to open right up to one. Oh, hold up. There's a treasure chest in here. Do not. I will get the stasis out. No. You stay open. Okay. You know what? It doesn't even matter that much. I've got too many of these arrows. Fire arrow. Away! Watch your head for falling treasure chests. And just a gear. Oh, actually we need those gears. Anyway, pop this terminal quick. There are three terminals remaining. All right, let's get moving. All right, pop this back open. And you can go ahead and shut now. I don't care anymore. I don't need to be back in there at any time. You can have your sanctity. Let's see. Now, I actually kind of want to get up there. Actually, I need to get up there. So we're going to do a thing here that's going to be 
a little disorienting is we're going to have to flip this thing once again and get all the way over on this wall. Don't run outside. It is surely your demise. Don't go out there. But yeah, we're just going to run up here and then halfway through, we're going to, right here, we're going to go ahead and flip this thing back. Now, get ready to run along the side here. Not like that. Flip back. I'm not done. Alright, you know what? Fine. I'll play your game. I'll just run along the wall. How about that? Oh, you stopped my plan. Huh. Why is this game being smarter than me? Guys, I'm, I'm getting tricked by a game. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Okay, you know what? Put it, put, uh, put it back. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, there we go. Huh, where's that? You know, I could actually just... If I just fell in the treasure chest, this would be a lot easier, wouldn't it? It might actually be... Alright, hold up. Link! Ya yuts! Not there! Oh, I'm the yuts. I could have just been staying here this whole time. Instead of trying to do fancy tricks. Okay, let's go get that treasure that I probably don't even want. Correction, that I can't even carry. Alright, fair enough. Anyway. So, it wants you to have... We'll, we'll flip it back over because I think we need to, to get, get up here. Maybe not. Oh. Well, I'll go back to this weapon. I guess it's not. So we're supposed to have this sideways so we can walk up here and up to this area out here and then flip it back over to climb this grating. Because we need this... You're kind of a little stuck there, buddy. Okay, now where is your little portal? Okay. Give me my club. Give me this for a second. You not... Okay, you're seriously not working out here? Fair enough. Um, but how does this... Oh, I've got a light to open it. So how do I light it? Well, it probably has something to do with this guy in here. Fire doesn't work on fire, dude. You know better. Got him. Maybe that'll take care of it. Take care of a little bit of my problem. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Damnable nations. Alright. Well, I guess we have to see what it's like when you come out here normally. So yeah, everything's like this, and then you gotta... Wait, was I, am I supposed to run with a torch out here? I am supposed to run with a torch out here, aren't I? Yeah, that's actually exactly what's supposed to happen. I'm supposed to get myself a torch lit and run out there with the blue flame torch so I can get the ball out. Hey, I may have be I may have beat this game, but I don't remember everything about this game. Okay. So let's go ahead and switch this back. Do not put the torch away. Thank God you can't climb any walls inside, otherwise it would be a ordeal. Anyway, let's hope the, the blue flame doesn't change to uh, orange once we get outside. Because that would make me forever upsetty. Okay, it does not. Let's just jump. And I believe if we turn it back over, we can actually just walk up this side. And touch. Yep, touch. Just need to light this up with the blue fire, that's all. And now it goes right to orange fire. Anyway, follow that ball. It leads you to a shrine. It leads you to one of the terminals in here. Now I don't know. Can I bop it? Okay. I, sp I think you're supposed to actually flip this, uh, flip the beast back over once again to get the ball rolling. By the way, that's what we freed out of its location. Would you? I don't know where you are, but I'm going to find you eventually. Anyway, the ball should start. There it is. So follow the ball, 
and eventually it'll get here. Lift this up to let it out, and it should automatically find its way to that in there. What is that in there? Well, that is where the terminal is. And as soon as you activate this terminal, that this will stay permanently open. Or this door will stay permanently open. It's so, so you don't need to worry about it much further than this. There are two terminals remaining. Just a little more. You say two terminals. I say, God damn it, let me out. I've had enough. Alright, but I believe the other two terminals... Where are they anyway? Oh, I ran right past one earlier. Uh, let's see, so this one you can get if you go outside and then jump in from the top, which is what I did. I think I'm going to end up doing that again. Let's see, so... Yeah, so it's that one on that shoulder blade, which I can now see. Actually, you could probably do something like this, where you just paraglider right onto it. Then you should be able to walk outside from here. Nah, you can't. Yeah, let's see. Is that a locked door? Just one terminal remaining. Just one more. Yes, only one terminal remaining. But yeah, is, that a, is this a locked door? What's what's up with this? The treasure inside. Mm. Well, let's flip. We gotta flip this back over anyway. So, wonder what that's tied to. Do have I ever been in this little area before? I don't see anything up there on the ceiling at all. Huh. I'm not too sure if that's even worth it to try and get in there. Let me just look around for a second see if there's like... a little... switch you can pop to open it. Although it'll, I'm pretty sure there's not one, so... Eh, don't worry about it. I don't know about it. And I said I would make this a complete walkthrough, but I'm... I'll probably be here all day if I do that. Anyway, let's just get ourselves outside. Jump, and we should be able to hit the spine over here. Uh, that spine... Oh, there we go. That's that spine right there. So that spine right there has the... Oh, it has you. And your eyeball is just below. Not so mighty anymore, are you? God, that was satisfying. And that's the last terminal right there, too. But we... Damn it. Okay, flip back over. We're safe. So even though we're right over lava, by the way, I'm going to point that out, that we're, like, right on top of lava. Don't... Don't be too afraid up here. You are fairly safe up here on the back of the beast. Gonna go ahead and open all this. Oh, an ancient core, thank you so much. I appreciate your blessings, Valdrudania. So, even though... Alright, he's got one on his tail. I'm going to his tail. But yeah, even though you're up here above lava and all that junk... Wait, this is the entrance point! You could have gotten this way earlier! Gosh dang it! There's better be something good to make you have to go through the whole place. I'll screw. Well, that's most of the chests. I don't know how to get that one inside that I've quote-unquote highlighted, so I'm just gonna say run along the outside of the beast. Huh, funny, you could have actually gone on the outside of the beast from the very beginning. But yeah, just go along the outside of the beast, and eventually you should find a spot where you can stand that'll make it easy to get up on top of his back. Let's see, if that last one's right here, I'm gonna stand right here. I'm going to stand right here, and probably at some point I'm going to jump and paraglide. Yep. I guess not. Well, I can still paraglide over. I know which spine it is, so... Um... Let me go ahead and jump the wall here, actually. I almost threaded the needle. Wow. Okay. And I'm screwing about. Let's flip this guy back over. And go touch his last shrine. Mm. 
Nice. That was the last terminal. Now go ahead and start up the main control unit. There should be a new glowing mark on your map. You're gonna need to make your way over to that. Stay focused, little guy. Oh, but I am focused. I know exactly what I want. To touch this terminal right behind us. And initiate... I don't know what what kind of fight you would count this, but let's initiate it. I don't remember this being hard at all. Yeah, I don't remember this guy being hard at all. Because even though he does that, he has such a big hitbox on his head. Except, I guess you can't get to him, so I guess you don't have a lot of arrows. Hey, good, good job. You actually came down to my level for once. Um... Why not quick draw? Hi! Alright, that's nice. Get down here! Gosh dang it! But yeah, I never really had much trouble with this guy. I guess I could probably putz around a little bit and see how, what gets him to the ground. Do I just... Do you just get close to him? Is that how you get to him? What's your newest trick, huh? Oh! Oh! Okay, so now he's got a protective aura. That flaming ball is dangerous. Yeah? Well, is he gonna use it against me? I think... What? Wait, wait, why am I using this shield? I've got a needle <laughs> shield! So I think you play... Let's see. He's gonna gather up energy. Now, you don't wanna... You don't wanna use your sword. Because you are gonna play Hangman's Gambit here. But, what you want to do is... Nope! Apparently that's not it. Apparently you must shoot it. Where are you going? Can I Do I just shoot the ball? Or do I actually slash it? I forget, because I've, I've done this part with him. Huh. What about throw a bomb? I wonder if he sucks it in. I just thought about that. I don't know a good way to really do this, so... Uh, throw! Oh, he does! Oh, he sucks it in, then you can go up there and walk. Okay. He's just like the Octoroks around here. Alright. Right here? Okay. Do you, huh? Do you not like bombs or something? Yeah, we'll be done.
Well, that's him taken care of. I don't know. I know. I always had. I seem to have a lot of arrows here. Like, they do give you like 20 ice arrows out here, so you should have plenty of arrows to like stun him, even if you don't go fight him the way I was. But whatever. Let's go ahead and head in. I don't care about that last, last treasure chest enough. Once you activate the main control unit, you will not be able to re-enter the interior of Divine Beast. Do you wish to activate it? I do. Because of you, my spirit is finally free. Can't thank you enough. I feel like I should apologize. I was doing all I could to protect Hyrule when that thing got the best of me. Sorry that me resting with the rubble caused such a mess. The good news is, Ruthania is now back under our control. That means that our century-old Ganon beatdown plan can finally go into effect. I'm gonna take this down the mountain. I'll have a better shot at Ganon there. And then, once you've made your way into Hyrule Castle, we're gonna light that thing up. I wanna give you something. It's a special power of mine called Daruk's Protection. It's no good to me now that I'm a spirit, but it might be useful for you. Here it comes! From this moment forth, the power of protection from the depths of my soul now lives inside you. Good luck, little guy. And give my regards to the princess. Best character. Gonna say it again. Best character. Only character. Come at me. Don't at me. Ha! 
A protective power containing the perfect defense for the, from the champion Dor, uh, Dorak. It will automatically protect you from all manner of attacks as long as you're holding the shield button. You look me dead in the eyes and tell me that's not an amazing character. I'll wait. Alright. Well... We have taken care we have taken care of Rudania. Huh? Hey, brother. Thanks so much for appeasing Rudan Rudania. I don't know exactly what you're what you were doing in there, but well, it seems to have calmed down. You know, while I was up there, I could have swore I saw Lord Daruk standing on top of Rudania. I wonder, was this his ghost? I don't know how to explain it, but somehow I feel a lot braver now. Huh? Oh, that's right! I talked to the boss about you, and he said he uh, to bring you to him. An order from the boss can't be refused. Move it. Damn, got pushy all of a sudden, didn't you? Well, let's go. Yeah, yeah, you got sales, but I but the boss the boss comes first. Ha! Well. Yeah, I can't even read that. That was not well. That was a hey. It's you! You know about told me everything. You really are something else, brother. You know that. Can't believe you conquered Rudania. Color me impressed. Good, but good grief. Did you have to do it just when my back pain went away? I was already raring to go to Rudania myself. Now, you're just, now you've gone to me to look like I was just fibbing about my back pain the whole time. Imagine that. Me. Uh, I'm sorry? Oh, and I'm also happy to see you, Noble. Finally, guys, act together. I know that's your doing as well. But enough back to enough pa back padding and other such notches. Have a look at this. The divine beast Valdrudania has calmed down and returned to its peaceful ways. <laughs> now we can get back to digging for ore around Death Mountain. All oh, right, I've still got to thank you. There's some treasure in my house. Grab it. Keep it. It's yours. It's a sharp blade that Rook himself once wielded. I'm sure you'll be able to make good use of it. However, well, as a Helion, you probably already know this, but apparently 100 years ago, the Helion champion had a legendary blade, the Sword of Sealed Darkness. It said sword sleeps in a forest somewhere, waiting. I bet you'd like to find it, eh? You should go looking. Awesome. Well... I'm going to do this really quick. I'm going to get back to our inventory. Shuffle through and... Uh, buy Torch. You were good to us for those three minutes. But up here... Is... Daruk's weapon. The Boulder Breaker. This two-handed weapon was once wielded by the Goron champion Daruk. Daruk made swinging around look easy. But Hylian would need immense amount of strength. Immense amount of strength. I'm good. I'm ready. Let's go. I'm holding this weapon. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm ready. <laughs> okay, okay. Enough screwing about. All right. So, uh, I think I'm actually, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put this up on the wall because once again, it's a break. Oh wait, I should show this off. Um, there are stone masons around here, and I just gotta find the place quick. But there are some stonemasons that, if you happen to break this thing, can build, repair it. But it will cost you... not that. Hmm, it's somewhere up here. I don't want to spend too long running around here. It's right up here. Because there's some anvil. So, there's a couple stonemasons. They're asleep in there right now, but... Uh, if you come up here with a diamond and some, and some uh, extra money... These guys will repair the boulder breaker if you ever break it. How do you break something that says breaker in its name? Very easily, apparently. 
Anyway. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and head back to Hateno. I'm going to put this away. And then I'm actually going to call it for now. But next time when I come back to more Breath of the Wild, I'm going to be... Ooh, hey, we have the gecko on the loading screen. Next time we come back to more Breath of the Wild, I'll be handling a lot of the side quests out here. I'll be handling the side quests, and then we'll go shrine hunting. So as always, I don't know I don't know if this is the middle of the episode or what at this point, but everyone, thanks for watching this episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Come back next time when it's time for Gorok side quests. I'll see you folks then. Take care.